So if you've ever tried to use an IBM PC type drive in your Amiga, you'll see that the connections are actually the same as what you would have for your Amiga, except for uh, it doesn't work. And uh, there's, if you look online, there's, there's quite a few videos, uh, some on YouTube even, that have the instructions on how you can alter an IBM type drive to work on your Amiga. Now, you could do that fairly easily with some models, but not others. So it kind of depends on what you got. Let me show you what I got going on here. I've got a regular IBM PC drive, and I've got a GoTech here. And the computer itself, uh, that's an Amiga 1200, and it's got its original floppy inside there, and it, it works too. Now, I'd like to have... Uh, options in case these things fail on me um, to replace them fairly easy. And if you've looked around, you, there are no shortages of, uh, at least right now as, as of this recording, of the IBM style drives. Now they're high density drives, they're 1.44 meg. The Amiga uh, had a, a, a double density drive, it was 880K the way they, they formatted their disk. Low density side on an IBM would have been 720K. So uh, the drives aren't compatible without modification. And this is where this little cable comes in handy. I, I bought this off of eBay. And you can see it's got a little board that does the translation for you. So you don't actually have to uh, modify the drive at all. So this IBM drive that you see behind here it's actually straight out of the machine with no alterations. And you could plug another one in just as easy and it'll work. Uh, now you can't run high density disc on your Amiga. They still have to be uh, formatted in 880K double density. If you've got the double uh, or the high density disc, you can simply put a, a piece of tape over the hole, uh, the secondary hole that is I think it's on the left side if you're looking at it with the with the uh, the little metal piece that goes across. And as long as you put that tape over there, you can use a high density disc in this high density drive, but format it as uh, an 880K. And for that matter, you can actually if you put the tape over that uh, diskette. And what I'm talking about is you've got a right right protect notch here. This is a double sided disc. The high density will have an extra hole there. Put a piece of tape over that. It'll actually work in the original drive and the uh, the drive that you hooked up. So uh, let's get this thing fired up and see how it works. Okay, we've got it powered up now and uh, I'll change viewing angles so you can see it a little bit better here in a moment and we'll turn those drives around. So what we've got so far is the uh, this icon here is the actual GoTech drive. It's got an, an, uh, an image loaded on it. And we're gonna put a diskette in the IBM drive. You can see that popped up. And let's put a diskette in the internal drive. So there's the internal. There's the IBM, there's the GoTech. Now let me change viewing angles here. So we can see this a little bit better. Okay. There's that one. Okay, here's the GoTech drive. And you can hear the uh, simulated, well, maybe you can hear it, the simulated diskette sounds that it makes uh, as it's loading and let's get this uh, I'm gonna lower the camera all right let's pop a disc in it and see if we can do a format disc pops up there
right, it has finished formatting. And it looks like we have, yep, fully working disc. So it's able to do that. Let's try some other stuff on it. All right, let's try making a disc copy and see what that does for us. Now this one should be blank. Let's give it a quick check just to make sure in the IBM drive. see that's that one there okay we'll open it up yep truly nothing in that one so that is df2 and then the uh, the gotech is df1 the internal is df0 so let me open up directory opus okay so what i want to do is i want to make a copy of this one onto that blank so what we'll do, put that one at DF0. And you can see the contents on the left side. On the right side, let's just check. Uh, oh, I need to make a new button. I don't have a DF2 button there. Let's type it in. Yep, nothing but the trash can on there. So what we can do is... Uh, do a disk copy. Can't see it. That's right at the top there. Okay. So it's asking uh, source and destination. So I want uh, originals in DF0. I want it to go to DF2. No need to verify it. Disk copy. It's not blank. It sees the trash can and the icon for the trash cans, but that's okay. We'll just erase it and go with it. successful. All right, so if you look here, it indicates DF2, this indicates DF0, and they are the same. Let's click directory opus. So this is the original, that's the copy. Just pop that out. And the uh, what was the blank is in there now. Let's see if it worked. Yep, looks like it works. So if you're thinking about uh, about doing something like this, you got got two options with the IBM drives. You can alter the drive, or you can just buy the cable and use any old drive, and it, it'll work. Um, again, let's take a quick look at it. The ribbon cable, which is connected to that board down there, uh, it's got two connections on it, one here and here. So this one is un unaltered. So you can actually put a, an Amiga drive there or a GoTech made to read as an Amiga. Or this one, oh, I actually got that backwards, sorry. So that's the, the, uh, the IBM drive and the GoTech one is on the top here. So that's the connector on the very end. That's the connector in the very middle of the cable. And of course, that's the connection on the other end of the cable. All right, there you go.